Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today's video is going to be a plan with me for the week of July 15th through the 21st, 2024 using my Traveler's Notebook size planner from Archer and Olive. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. Here we are in my traveler's notebook size planner. I'm going to be going with a vertical layout for this week's spread. I'll be using these rainbow alcohol ink stickers. This summertime quotes sheet. This fitness quote sheet. And I'll be using three mini sheets, the months, days, and numbers. All of these sticker sheets are from According to Allie, and you can use code Jennifer10 to save 10% off of any order you place at According to Allie's shop. I knew that I wanted to go with a full sticker spread for this week. I was just feeling very stickery. <laughs> And I've been wanting to use these rainbow alcohol ink stickers since I got them. And I know that I did a whole month's worth of rainbow spreads in June, but I still couldn't resist. It was time for another rainbow spread and it was time for me to use these stickers. So basically what I'm doing, I, I've done this before, something similar, using Allie's alcohol ink stickers, but I did it in a grid layout spread so th I think this is my first time doing something like this when I'm doing a vertical layout over four pages but I'm basically cutting these alcohol ink stickers in half or in pieces to sit right at the top of each column like right at the top edge of the paper and I'm off camera right now but I'm basically just trying to cut around the edges of the sticker I just laid down because some of these stickers have more cool tones to them and others have more warm tones and then there are some that have kind of a mixture of both I knew that I wanted to vary up the colors that were on the top of the page so if we have a an alcohol ink sticker that's more pinks and oranges than the one next to it's going to have you know hopefully more blue or purple to it yellow is the one that kind of ended up in both the warm tone stickers and the more cool tone stickers but that's okay yellow is my favorite color i'm never going to complain about yellow and i really like the way that this looks like to me this is a fun way of adding in deco that's not going to take up too much time to do but at the end of the day is still going to look good and is going to bring some bright fun colors to the spread and once I'm done cutting off this excess here I am finished with adding in all of those alcohol ink stickers to the tops of the pages but I knew that I wanted to put this larger one in the bottom left corner where I'm going to put the month and day of the week or I'm sorry, month and week of the year. <laughs> and so I did do that. So it was kind of hanging off the page on the left side and really love that sticker. Really like the way that that came out. I knew that I wanted to add a little bit of a scrap on the rightmost column of this spread, but I decided to hold off on that because I ended up figuring out that to use the scraps that I have left, I kind of needed to put my lines in to separate everything. So now I'm going in with my days of the week. These are from According to Allie. These are on a mini sticker sheet. I believe that she may have taken these off of her shop. I could be wrong. I think last time I looked though, I had a hard time finding them. And I think it's because she's kind of thinking of redoing all of these script stickers that she has. I hope that's the case because I love her stickers. I love her days of the week stickers. I love her number stickers. 
and I desperately want her to bring something back because my other favorite shop for stickers like this, Papery Planning, has officially closed. So I'm going to be very reliant on Allie for month stickers, for days of the week stickers, all of that fun stuff. Now that I have all the dates and days of the week down, I knew I wanted to use this Hello Summer sticker, but I wanted to put it down first before I put down the July month sticker and the week number stickers because I'm doing something a little bit different with this week's spread. And that's part of why I ended up going with a vertical layout for this week's spread. I have started getting back to the gym. I'm trying to be just a little bit more cognizant and conscious of what I'm eating. And so I thought that maybe saving the bottom 10 grid spaces on each day for detail about what I'm eating and any exercise that I'm doing might be a f an interesting thing to do. I don't know how this is going to work for me it, or if it's even going to work for me. I haven't done something like this in quite a while, if not ever. <laughs> I did at one point have like a wellness kind of section to my planner when I was using a happy planner, but it was more general wellness, not really specific to like what I'm eating and my exercise. So we'll see if I find this helpful at all. I'm hoping that it just keeps me on track and helps to keep me motivated. But I did put in the lines to kind of separate everything off. That way I could use that yellow alcohol ink scrap on Sunday. I included a little quote sticker there. And then I found this like really long tiny quote and I thought it would be fun to put it vertically and Friday seemed like a good day to do that and then I did want to add another quote sticker on this first section of this spread but I wanted it to be towards the top since that hello summer sticker was towards the bottom so I cut up this keep going sticker put it towards the top of Wednesday and with that we are finished with this spread I really like the way that this came out. Again, it's minimal effort, but it looks really good. And I'm curious to see how this kind of sectioned off area at the bottom of each day is going to work for me with regards to me going to the gym and eating a little bit more healthy. I hope you all enjoyed this plan with me. And as always, everyone, please be safe. Bye-bye.